Good evening, or good morning. Not feeling my best self today, so we're here instead so I can be comfortable because this is my channel and I do what I want. So basically, I got new hearing aids and I hate them. There are many problems. So let's start from the beginning. The last time I talked about my hearing aids was in my January update, which I'll link somewhere up here. Um, just saying that, hey, there will be an update soon, and boy, do I have an update for you. So I think, right, just before we get started, I want to say that I am incredibly grateful for having audiology services that will treat me for free and give me the equipment I need for free but that doesn't mean that I can't criticize it so I go in for a hearing aid upgrade because even though it's before my time um, because of my visual snow syndrome and difficulties I was having with communication and understanding we decided to upgrade my hearing aids to one that had a volume control which yes wanted that and they said in that appointment um, oh, you'll have the choice of two. You can have the brand that you already have with the same colour and everything, or you can have a different brand which can connect to your phone. Um, and I didn't make either of those choices then because I thought I would have time to think on it. And that, that's sort of what they led me to believe, I guess. But they didn't tell me that. They just said, you have a choice. But I never actually gave a choice. So that gets booked, I get a text and a letter saying, hey, you're going to be seen by Dr. So-and-so or one of his team to get new hearing aids. I was like, yay, cool. So that happened yesterday. So I go in and the choice had been made for me to go with the other brand, which I was never told what it was. I had to read it off my hearing aids when I got home. So here they are. They don't have the hearing aid moulds on. More on that in a second. So these are the Danalogic GN Ambio 77s. Uh, they they just look like hearing aids because they are. Uh, can you even see? Probably not. I'm not getting out of bed to show you closer. It doesn't really matter. There is a volume control on the back as well as a button for modes. That's essentially it. Fine. Not relevant for the rest of the tale. So they'd made the decision for me and if they had actually asked me I would have gone with Phonak again because my hearing aids set up as of yesterday morning before the appointment was perfect. The volume great, tinnitus reduction great, um, sound quality fantastic it, I just knew that it worked for me, so I didn't, if it's not broken, don't fix it, says Max, getting an upgrade, not the point. But no, they changed it to this other brand, I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Um, and that wouldn't really be a problem, because I don't really have brand loyalty, I just want something that works. But these don't work for me at all. I have a little fidget, hold on. So, we're there in the appointment, and... They do the thing where they stick the tubes in your ear to calibrate the hearing aids, which I hate. Because for some reason, those tubes cause this ear just immense amounts of pain. Uh, I don't want to be a wuss about it, but like, it hurts. So I'm there in the chair and I'm like wincing and stuff and I'm just trying to sit through it because I want to be good. Uh, I don't want to like cause any problems or issues or make anything harder than it needs to be but like sometimes I just can't help flinching and reacting because it hurts um, but we get the things in and they play the sound at me the tubes measure the sound coming into the ear canal and then the computer says hey we'll put the hearing aids at this volume across these frequencies and then he speaks I don't hear what he said he speaks again and I'm like can we turn it up a bit and he gives it a couple of clicks 
and he says something again I'm like I can technically hear him but I need to take a minute to process what he just said because my brain needs to fill in the gaps of what I heard and what I didn't hear um, and I'm like oh can I have it up a little bit more please he says yeah I don't want to I'm sorry you don't want to I like I understand that you don't want to have it up too high because you might damage your hearing but that's literally what audiology do and they are supposed to amplify it to a point where you can hear so it's pointless me having hearing aids if they don't amplify enough for me to hear properly um, but he didn't want to turn it up so I was like fine we'll, we'll just come back for a tune up and then when he like disconnects it the sound changes to what the hearing aids are actually going to give me and oh god it's bad sorry for the dramatic reading style of that but it's not good it's like my phone acts were Glastonbury and these new ones are a school disco there is a horrible static sound that it's playing which is louder than the amplification it's giving me and it it feels like a very electrical kind of static like when you're watching an old analogue TV and it's not quite in tune or you're listening to a radio that isn't tuned properly it's like a proper like but from a speaker and it is technically a speaker I guess but it sounds like that my friend once played a white noise for tinnitus reduction but I could barely hear it and it worked to reduce my tinnitus. With these new ones I still have tinnitus but I have a lot of static and the sound quality from what is amplified is like it's being spoken to me through a toilet paper tube or sometimes depending on the noise some sort of metallic tube. I don't know how else to describe it. There's an awful like aux cord buzz so I don't know if you've ever held an aux cord that's plugged in and touched it and it goes like it's like that constantly. It's not amplifying anything to a usable volume or quality for me. And the actual sound output that's coming out. So my Phonex were like really like this. So they were like sharp. S's were like very, you know, that. And I obviously adapted to hearing the world like that because I'd had Phonex headphones headphones. I'd had Phonak hearing aids for like two years now, 2019, about a year and a half. So I'm obviously used to that. And then this new brown, everything is more rounded, everything is softer, everything is muffled. And I don't like it because I can't understand it. But that might just be a volume issue, but they didn't want to turn it up as loud as I needed it to be, so I didn't like that. But the real problem for me is the static. I figured out why. Because I have visual snow syndrome and I'm seeing static constantly 24 7. Playing the static gives my visual impairment a noise. And my brain said no. My brain absolutely said no. I could not wear them for more than five minutes without crying. I spent a good deal of yesterday crying. I was so upset. I'm not really a crier, but I just, my brain couldn't handle hearing what I was seeing. If it won't make sense to many people. Unless you have visual snow, you probably won't understand, but it literally just, it was like watching and listening to a TV that hadn't been tuned into the channel right, showing my age. But it just, it was horrible. Just not good. Uh, and then I i asked in the appointment, do they take the same batteries as my current ones? Yes. No, they don't. Which I can understand because about 90% of the batteries coming out of that place are the orange ones, which I need, which is the new ones. Uh, but like only 10% use the batteries that I was using. So I'm, I'm not mad at that. But it also means I don't have any batteries, so I, I have anxiety about not having hearing aid batteries with me. So 
yeah, that's how that appointment went. It was very clear to me very quickly that these hearing aids are not going to work out for me. So I sent Audiology an email being like, hey, can we fix this please? And they were like, oh, sounds like you need a specialist. We could get you in tomorrow morning. So that was this morning. And they rang me and the, the specialist was like, yeah, no problem. These, these, you, you're clearly quite upset by this. I was like, yeah, I am. And I, I don't want to be a dick about it. She's like, you're not being a dick about it, which is very nice and validating. They are posting me out some programmed hearing aids that were the same brand that I just had. They're posting them to me. They're not my exact old ones, but they're going to program it and, and just send them to me. So I have something, which is, which is good. Um, and I asked on the phone if they could add a couple of clicks of volume because what the computer says it should be is never close to enough and they said she'll see what she can do but she's not allowed to add too much volume without the person being there which I understand but I'm hoping that it'll just have enough to do something that's where we left it hopefully we can sort the problem out but yeah I just wanted to actually because yesterday I didn't want to make this video, I was like, oh, what can I make instead? But I actually just wanted to talk about the fact that, like, I think me getting my hearing aids right first time was very much not representative. And if hearing aids aren't right, go back and get it right. Try and fix it. Speak to whoever you need to speak to to see what can be done. Because if it's not perfect and it's actually upsetting you, that's not going to help you, and they are here to help. So on that nice cheery note, don't forget to like this video. Uh, drop a comment down below if you have any questions for me based on what I've just said. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Videos go up every Saturday at 6pm UK time with at least one bonus video every single month. See ya!